Today, let us revise subtraction concept and properties. Good morning, students. Let us revise the concept of subtraction first. I have 48 pence. I give 38 pence to Sam. How many pens are left with me? I will have to subtract 38 from 48 to find the number of pens left with me. 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Thus, the difference between 48 and 38 is 10. There are 10 pens left with me. We use the subtraction sign to write the subtraction sentence. Do you remember the terms used for the numbers in subtraction? Correct! The number from which a number is subtracted is called minuend. The number that is subtracted is called subtrahend. The answer we get after the subtraction operation is called difference. In the example just solved, 48 is the minuend, 38 is the subtrahend and 10 is the difference. Remember, taken away, left, how many more than, how many more are needed, remained, difference or given away are different terminologies that imply subtraction. Now let us revise the subtraction properties. Property 1. Zero property of subtraction. In this property, zero is always taken as the subtrahend. Let us take the numbers 88 and 0. When we subtract 0 from 88, we get the difference 88. This tells us that when we subtract 0 from a number, the difference will be the number itself. Property 2. If we subtract a number from itself, the difference is 0. Let us take the number 45. If we subtract 45 from 45, that is, if we subtract 45 from itself, we get the answer 0. This tells us that if we subtract a number from itself, the difference is 0. Property 3. In subtraction, the order in which the numbers are subtracted is important. Let us take the numbers 76 and 55. When we subtract 76 minus 55 and 55 minus 76, we do not get the same answer. That is, 76 minus 55 is not equal to 55 minus 76. Thus, it tells us that in subtraction, the order in which the numbers are subtracted is important. Hope you enjoyed revising the subtraction concept and properties with Miss Nancy.